wreckage from the ship. Survivor? Grossa, not much time. Who did this? Mongols? No. A rival band. Traitors. Yamaneko and his crew made a deal with the Mongols. Mongols armed them with Wacha. Who are these raiders? Where can I find them? Uh, ask Sugi. She, she can help. The village to the south, Red Casa had won her. They're coming. Uh. I hear the watchers. Run! Survivors. Get down! Get down! Help! Get Recruit more raiders. Must be the village. Hmm. I should ask around. Someone must know this Sugi with the red cuss I had. A lot of... What happened here? Hundreds of flaming arrows shot from a ship in the bay. I know the vessel. Raiders, armed with Mongol weapons. I'm seeking someone who could help stop them. Sugi, where's the red cuss I had? Don't know her. Signs of an attack. Looks recent. Someone is living here. Still warm. Locked. You're looking for me? Why? I mean you no harm, Sugi. My name is Jin. I was sent to warn you. The vessel that fired on your village belongs to someone named Yamaneko. I need your help to stop them. They know I'm here. That means... Should we leave? 
Draw them away? No! No! We don't know anything! It's too late. Pack our things. Be ready to go when I return. Come with me, Jin. Come back to me. I'll avoid unnecessary risk. There's a first time for everything, I suppose. Sugi! Yamaneko sends his regards. Sebe, you always were his lapdog. <laughs> How do you like our new allies? Soon, we'll be the most powerful crew on this island. Kill them all! <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Come with me. Yamaneko's crew are careful, well armed. Only darkness can be located. I take it you've met. I was his first mate, kept him from indulging his worst tendencies for a time. When I met Sampe, I didn't want to be that person anymore. But you don't just leave Yamaneko. Tell me where his ship docks. I'll handle them. We work together, or not at all. Hmm. <laughs> just remember that goes both ways. You're good with a blade. I have an idea we might be able to pull off. But I need to scout around first. Track down an old contact. There's an abandoned fishing village to the west. I'll meet you there. Good luck. Hmm. <laughs> You too. This is the place Sugi mentioned. Where is she? More of Yamaneko's crew. I'll deal with them. Draw your blades! You got who in here?
Hold still. Thank you, my lord. That was quite a sight. You're not a samurai or ronin. What exactly are you? Someone like you. Who knows what it's like to be hunted. I scouted the cove. Yamaneko's crew are trading captives for Mongol watchers. Treasonous slavers. We can't let them have more Mongol weapons. Yes. We'll need to split up. Distract the forces on the beach. I'll take a boat out. I've been slipping aboard ships undetected since I was a child. If Yamaneko is as dangerous as you say... He's my responsibility. Yamaneko is... my brother. Killing your own family. It's harder than you could ever imagine. Yes. All right. I'll head up the coast to where the Mongols and raiders are camped. Find some way to deal with them all. I can take over their watchers. And even the odds for you. Good. If we make it look like the raiders have betrayed the Mongols, they should turn on each other. I'll send you a signal of where to aim. Hmm. A little flower into their campfire will make it flare. Good luck, Sugi. Hmm. You too. There's a lookout post nearby. I can't leave until... I'll take care of them first. Meet me on the northern coast afterward. Once night falls, Sugi can row out to the ship. Better look around. I'll use that campfire to signal Sugi. Direct her Huacha attack. Yamaneko's crew and the Mongols. Working together. This alliance ends here. Time to signal Sugi.
Send your best warrior. Come <laughs> against Yaman and his crew. Yamaneko's crew will be an example to others. Don't side with the Mongols. Now to meet Sugi up the coast to the north. No sign of Sugi's boat. Hope Sugi wasn't on board.
a red Kasa hat. Farewell, Sugi. I wish you better fortune in the afterlife. She returned to Sugi's husband, tell him what happened. Any more like this? Sugi, it's safer for everyone if I just disappear. I suspect no one understands that more than you. May we both live lives free from being hunted. <laughs> she survived. Good luck, Sugi, to both of us. Take him over a dozen samurai any day. The ghost will help us. I hear he killed a thousand Mongols with that old Shimura bastard slung over his shoulder. <clears throat> yes? Those stories, they're not entirely true. Of course they are. You must have heard some good ones about the ghost. He snapped the Mongol Khan like a piece of driftwood. Sounds like him, all right. If you want to help his fight, the ghost of Iki is asking for donations. We leave our offerings at his camp, northeast of where Kidafure village used to stand. If you're taking food, he likes his sake filtered and his millet washed. I'm sure he does. Hearing's one thing. Let's hope he answers them. been impersonating me.
So warm. Drank every drop. He was here, maybe watching something. I should wait, see if he comes back. Movement near the camp. Bandits. You must be the ghost. Are you stealing sake? Hmm. More thief than samurai. Don't hit those barrels. Where are you running off to? Better catch up. Time to meet. Time to meet the ghost. See if you left a trail. Tracks. <laughs> Clumsy. Enough. I'm looking for the ghost. You and half the island. But we found him first. This little rat shit owes us a fortune. He owes me more. One day, boy. Then we start snipping off toes. So you're the hero everyone's talking about. Oh, oh, oh no. I I'm not the ghost. But I do work for him. There we were, fighting to save Iki Island, when those dead fox bandits attacked us, took the ghost prisoner. <sighs> Where do they take him? Their camp, just west of here. I've got one day to pay them back. No, stay out of trouble. I will find your master. I have some questions for the ghost of Iki.
Pretending to be the ghost. A respectful tribute. Respectful? I should have known you were behind this. I'm sorry, Lord Sakai. With Mongols everywhere, I, I couldn't take it anymore. Then I heard this icky smuggler was prepping a one-way trip to the mainland. I had to get out! And you didn't say goodbye. You're always so busy! If you were so eager to escape, how did you end up like this? I got caught sneaking aboard the smuggler's ship. When word got out that I was stranded on Iki, some very bad locals hunted me down. Tried to rob me! Did you rob them first? Skimmed prophets and Sarasaka never hurt anybody! So you're the most hated man on Iki. Half the island wants you dead, the other half you owe money. Am I close? Lucky guess. That doesn't explain the ghost act. The people here hate me! But as the ghost, I could inspire the locals, rob the lowlifes, and... and... And buy your way to the mainland. Everybody wins! I should leave. Let you deal with this mess. Ah, but the ghost wouldn't do that, right? <sighs> Hold still. Uh, mm, arms are still asleep. Wake them up. I'll escort you to the campsite, but that's it. Ghost of Iki, you're on your own. Wait, wait, wait! You can't leave me here! Everyone on this island is out to get me! What about your recruit? You met Hugo. Is he alright? He nearly lost his head trying to pay your ransom. <sighs> He's just a fisherman. The kid needs me. Help me find Hugo, and I'll be out of your hair, I promise. Oh. He better be close. We agreed on a meeting place nearby. In case we were split up. Lead the way. I thought you only had eyes for Tsushima. What brings you to Iki? I came here with my father once. Years ago. Never thought I'd return. When I heard something terrible was happening here, I couldn't ignore it. Wish I'd known about those rumors. All I heard was Iki is safe. Not a Mongol in sight. This friend of yours. How did you convince him to join your ghost performance? The Eagle Tribe sank the boat I used to get here. I almost drowned, but Fugu pulled me from the sea. I tried to ditch him, but he wouldn't listen. <laughs> he couldn't resist your charms. <laughs> Few can, my lord. Fugu! It's me! I knew you'd escape, Master! The ghost lives to fight again! Hey, enough with the ghost talk, Hugu. You can call me Kenji. My friend here is the ghost. Oh, I see. Well, someone called the Viper has a message for the ghost. Th that's for me. You're in trouble with the Viper of Hakata Bay? He's the smuggler I told you about. The one with the ship ready to sail for the mainland? I tried sneaking on board, but he caught me. Now I owe him a small fortune if I want to keep my head and get off this island. Then we better meet him and sort this out. You're going to help me? The ghost of Iki is going to help himself. I want to meet the smuggler who spent the last 20 years evading samurai capture. What happened to your horse? Miko? 
I had to trade him to the Viper as collateral. I hope he's all right. Lord Shimura's been hunting the Viper for years. You're lucky he didn't take one of your hands when you tried to sneak aboard his ship. He was about to chop off other things, but I convinced him to save me a seat to the mainland. All it took was handing over Miko and promising to pay ten times the asking price. You should know, the Viper doesn't like people like us. People like us? You know, tough guys. <laughs> What's so funny? <sighs> Nothing. Well, whatever you do, don't push him. This doesn't have to get ugly. Wait here, Fugu. Yes, go. I mean, Master Kenji. me, Kenji! The ghost of Iki! We're here to see the Viper! Be calm, Kenji. And don't talk too much. Who? Me? Where is my money? You must be the Viper of Hakata Bay. Who is the Masu, Kenji? He's a friend. Jin Sakai. Sakai? Had a run-in with your father once. Never got the feeling back in my little finger. <laughs> Cannot say I mourned him. My father made enemies, but they're not mine. Good. Old grudges are bad for business. How did this runt recruit a samurai? Kenji said he tried to sneak aboard your ship. He regrets the insult. That's me, stupid, disrespectful Kenji. Now he owes you a small fortune. A big fortune. If you came to negotiate, you are wasting my time. You're right. Nobody haggles with the Viper. We'd be better off collecting the bounty on your head. Spoken like old Kazumasa. Da great points, everyone. But about my payment... We can do better. If you meet us halfway. You need payment today. To fund your journey, and whether the Mongol invasion, lower Kenji's payment. And we can settle up now, or wait, and hope he survives long enough to pay you back in full. Hey! <sighs> you have got a smart friend, Kenji. I think we can work something out, Lord Sakai. Those Ego Tribe bastards stole my navigation charts. Maps of every smuggling route between China and Hakata Bay. You need them to reach the mainland. That is right. And if the Mongols break my code, they will learn every weakness in the Shogun's fleet. That sounds very bad. We can recover these charts. If you grant Kenji passage to the mainland. You have yourself a deal. Keep an eye on Kenji. Trouble sticks to him like shit on rice. Viper trusts us. Now we have to deliver. Faster, Sora! I think I pulled something when those bandits tied me up. Maybe I should rest up while Hugo helps you rob the Mongols. He's just a fisherman, Kenji. He saved your life. I know. If you want to act like a ghost, stop using people and start thinking how you can help them. Back 
back there with the Viper. You had me scared for a moment. I told you he hates the tough act. Some people respond only to kindness. Others require a glimpse of steel. The Viper needed to remember what it meant to deal with a samurai. Well, I'm glad you kept it under control. You don't want to see him on a bad day. More guards than I expected. Maybe I should keep watch. Anything goes wrong, I'll give a signal. Bird call. No! Screaming monkey! Shh! Show me your skill. El day a shiglach. Viper's navigation charts. Time to go. Any luck? I've got it. Let's go. Just in time. Uh, good work. Everything is here. We'll just need a few minutes to check my maps. Then we set sail. What about the people we sent ahead of us? Hmm? Settled on board, but we are at capacity. Have to dump all expendable cargo. There's only room for one more passenger. Ready to set sail, Kenji? When do we leave? Soon. We wait for no one. Reza doing business with you, Lord Sakai. And you. Sure you don't want in? I could hide you in one of my sake barrels. It's a tight squeeze, but with a little cooking oil, those narrow hips... Uh... <laughs> I'll pass. I'm not finished here yet. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Keep some of your best sake chill for me. We'll celebrate when this is all over. I'd like that. Forget something, Master? Yeah, my common sense. 
Take my seat on the ship. You earned it. But, Master... Get moving before I change my mind. I didn't think you had it in you. I'll scrape by. Fugu, I didn't like his chances. It's better this way. Besides, you didn't think you'd get rid of me that easily, did you? <laughs> I'm not that lucky. This calls for a drink. To the ghost of Iki. To forgetting all about him. I followed her from the beginning. Right out of the factory. Careful, my lord. Riku has a taste for warriors. What are you talking about? Black Hand Riku, the cursed pirate captain who terrorizes Iki Island from beyond the grave. Hmm. Black Hand Riku. Didn't he die at sea years ago? That he did. I am Kashira. I sailed on Riku's bloodstained banner. The things I saw still haunt my nightmares. Perhaps you can tell me the tale. Of course. I hope you have a strong stomach. Black Hand Riku was once the cruelest pirate captain to ever terrorize Iki Island. He carved up his victims piece by piece always saving a morsel for his loyal companion, a vicious monk. Riku built his armor to honor a brutal Sarugami. This monkey demon inhabited his armor. Its cursed whispers drove Riku to take risks, tempting him with the spoils of battle while pushing him to the brink of ruin. Six years ago, Black Hand Riku attacked a refugee ship. Its cargo? Children. We threw the young ones overboard. Their samurai protector, he skinned alive. His crew watched in horror while Riku's monkey fed on the trimmings. Then, mutiny. Black Hand Riku's crew plotted to poison their wretched leader. He was stabbed through the chest and blinded by the poison. But he clung to life, protected by the armor of the Sarugami. Riku set his ship ablaze and fled with his monkey, while his crew burned to death in their fiery tomb. Before he died, Riku hid his Sarugami armor somewhere on Iki Island. Now he haunts the coast, a wrathful spirit who preys on anyone brave or foolish enough to seek the cursed armor of Black Hand Riku. So you sailed with Black Hanriku, and plotted his death. Someone had to stop him. And no one has found his Sarugami armor? Many have tried, but they all fell victim to his wrathful spirit. People say the monkeys of Iki are his eyes and ears. If that's the case, he already knows I'm interested. Where did your ship go down? I don't remember much of that night, but... 
One other crew member survived. Minato. She spends her time hiking Mount Take no Tsuchi, trying to forget the horrors we lived through. Thank you for the tale. Be careful. The monkeys are watching. Black Hand Riku sees everything. I won't, I won't kneel, kneel. And, I and I won't, won't drink, drink your, your damn poison, whatever it is. We are Kuzben! Have guessed. Saved by a samurai. Are you Minato? Who's asking? A ronin looking for some long lost armor. I hear you used to sail under Black Hand Riku. Quiet. You hear you. So you believe the stories? Some nights I feel Riku watching me. I can hear his pet monkey sucking marrow from bones. I know it sounds crazy, but. I swear, those filthy monkeys are watching us. Do you remember anything about the night of the mutiny? Anything that could help me find this final resting place? <sighs> we were anchored just off the northeastern shore. There was something under the water. Something glowing. The moon's reflection? Moon wasn't out that night. Glowing water. It's not much, but it will have to do. a favor. Forget the armor.
beneath the water. Riku was blinded. Maybe he saw just enough to follow the light. Or his pet monkey did. Did you come here, Riku? A passage. Locked. If I light the brazier, maybe I'll find a way through. In the light. How can I start a fire? Maybe those flaming arrows.
killed recently, but by whom? Someone left writing here. Horde. It must have taken years to collect. <laughs> I have seen you in my dreams. Show yourself. <laughs> Another hunter, desperate for my armor and the power of the Sarugami. Black Hand Riku, you survived. No, I was reborn in darkness. You're blind. This isn't a fair fight. No, it is not. Guide my brain. 
Blade, Sarugami. Let me get out of here. He's over here! The armor is a good fit, my lord. You look just like old Riku. Kashira, shouldn't you be busy telling ghost stories in Funa's refuge? Hand over the armor, and make it quick. I need to piss. Then saving it for Riku's corpse. Riku is yours. The armor is mine. <sighs> Damn samurai. Sarugami still inhabits the armor. A gift and a curse.
Who are you? Thought I knew every face on Iki. Just a traveler. Stranded here by the Eagle tribe. You're welcome to join us. If you want to hear an old man complain about the past. We survived one invasion, and we can do it again. Or have you all forgotten how much we suffered at the hands of the samurai? That was nothing compared to the danger we face now. Nonsense. You are too young to know anyway. It's past time I remind you all about the dark days of the samurai invasion. About the brutality of Kazumasa Sakai. Fifteen years ago, our home was invaded by an army of ruthless samurai. Their leader was Kazumasa Sakai, the Butcher of Iki. He rode to battle atop his demonic beast, shielded with armor as black as his master's heart. Luckily, the Butcher made a grave mistake when he came to Iki. He brought his whelp of a son. Our bravest warriors hunted the boy, not to kill, but to tempt his bloodthirsty father. Kazumasa gave chase and rode into a trap. His armored horse met a grisly end, but the butcher and his runt son survived, then fled like cowards. Enough of these lies. That is not what happened. I lived near Senjo Gorge. I saw it with my own eyes. So did I. Who are you? My name is Jin Sakai. Kazumasa Sakai was my father. He gave his life trying to help this island. Help? He murdered us! Your people repaid his help by murdering him. Is that why you're here? To avenge your father and take my head? You may be a liar, but you are not my enemy. Not yet. Stop this! You're acting like wild dogs! I came here to help, not for revenge. You mentioned my father's horse armor. After he died, we never recovered it. We know. Tell me where it is, and I can use it to ride against the Eagle tribe. I would die before I help a samurai. It's time you leave. something about my father's horse armor, but he'll never tell me. Unless I listen in on him, without being seen. Stay out! Samurai invasion. He's mine. Was to do a child the way they were butchered. Nothing to find. We couldn't recover everything to give them a proper burial. That never should have happened. What about the rest of your story? Ah, yes. I was just getting to the good part. Kazumasa fell for our trap and lost his armored horse. As our warriors closed in, the Butcher and his boy fled into Senjo Gorge. The samurai limped through the canyon and ran headfirst into an ambush. There was no grand battle, only a few raiders with dull blades. But that was all it took. One swing to end the life of Kazumasa Sakai. While the samurai slunk home, 
We recovered the armor from Kazumasa's mount. Over the years, our finest horses wore that armor. Every one of them killed its rider. As if possessed by the butcher's vengeful spirit. So we sold his horse's armor to the Ida merchant family. The cursed armor left our shores aboard the merchant fleet as a storm descended on our island. The sky roared with the thunder of a thousand charging samurai, and the raging tempest shattered the Ida ships against our rocky coastline. The ruins of that doomed fleet still choke Zasho Bay, and somewhere in that watery graveyard lies the cursed armor once worn by the horse of Kazumasa Sakai.
Father's horse armor. We'll see if it fits Soda. you well, Soda. Curse or not, you wouldn't throw me, would you, boy? You look just like my father's horse. May this armor protect you in battle. The Eagle Tribe. They found the survivor's camp. Come, Soda. Your horse is that? The horse armor of Kazuma Sasakai, restored to his son, and cursed no more. After everything I said, you saved us. There is a new threat on Iki. I saved you from these Mongols because I was raised to help those in need. Raised by Lord Shimura. And the man you call Butcher. I can't forgive your father. 
But as for his son, you're more merciful than he ever was. I never thought I would say this, but thank you, Lord Sakai. <laughs> Yes, you are all right. Another day. <laughs> but don't they have good? The monkey's dance reminds me of a song my mother taught me. Let's see if I remember it.
the first song she tried to teach me. I pouted when I couldn't learn it. So she played with me, as terrible as I did, so I wouldn't feel bad.